Hi everyone, it's Bill Derry, and I am going to have a short class uh, that will help us, I think, in our next gathering, which is coming up soon. I think I'll put on my idea hat because anything that could help me with continuous ideas would be very good. The metaphor I've been using for flipping is cook it, teleport it, and serve it so you can absorb it when you actually get to see it. The hard part is planning and then making it, which I'm doing now, and then the easy part is posting it so you can find it later. The video tutorial should um, allow you to not just view it, but to create a shared base of knowledge when we all come together. That's what I'm hoping. Whatever you choose to call this, it also implies that you're all going to become video experts because you got to make productions if you want to be able to um, instruct and have your students learn when you aren't available. It also makes classroom time much more useful. So today we're going to look at augmented reality. Specifically, um, I used to use it. It was the Orasma app last December. HP purchased it, and it's now called HP Reveal. Two different logos, but they both work. So let's get started. There are two ways to create a, an aura with the HP Reveal or Orasma. The first is with an app, and that's our first uh, project will be to make one. And our second way is through Studio, which is a website on the computer, and the company strongly recommends that that is your primary method of having students and yourself create auras. But they both work and have pros and cons. So let's look at how they work together or don't work together. Uh, we'll do a lot of that next week when we come together. Let's get the app first. So I'm on my phone. I'm going to the App Store. You can see that when I search for HP Reveal, and I can also search for Erasma, uh, it says open because I already have downloaded it. So I open it, and you're going to go and create your account. Make sure you keep that information so that you use the same account information when you go into your um, online um, studio account. And that will be on a com regular computer. So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in, and I'm going to use uh, Make to Learn User two as my account and now I'm going to be very careful to type in my password with the capitals and make to learn password capital P and number two next so when you get in to the app the first thing you're going to see is that you have auras is what they're called you already have auras made. Um, they're, they're commercial, possibly, but they have been put in here to show you how it works. The two I recommend that you try after we do our, after you make uh, a target and an overlay, is the $20 bill and the $1 bill. And you just use their back and point and an aura, an augmented reality will appear on the bill for you. But let's make our own before we do that. So go to the plus up in the right-hand corner and you will see a grid. And that grid, I'm going to put a, a flashcard up because we're going to do flashcards. It could be a book cover. You're making a target, something that when you point your Erasmus app at, it will recognize it. And then the overlay, which is part two, will appear, whether that's someone talking, uh, a video, um, words, anything can be an overlay. So here's Beanstalk. And I'm going to use those white corners to modify my grid to make it fit the size of the card. There we go. Now, you can see that ah, it's in the red. That's terrible. It means that it's not able to differentiate the beanstalk from a hill of beans. It doesn't know the difference. So I have redone the card with dots and points, sort of like when we used to calibrate our smart boards with all those dots. This is calibrating. And now, whoa, can you see the difference? It's in the green. So you want to make sure that your target is in the green. And you know what? I've done this, and it's been in the yellow and the red, and it's worked, but it's not worth having to redo it. So click the picture. There. I've got my beanstalk. I've got my target all set. Now it says to choose an overlay. Okay. I know what I want. I want a beanstalk. And I knew it was there. That's why I chose that word. But um, you'll notice that these are fun. These are fun uh, they're not necessarily curriculum related. You can stretch them and find curriculum connections. But that's why the website is a little 
better for production. There it is. Here it comes. The beanstalk I want selected. Now, oh, there it is on my over. How good is that? Next. Now I'm going to call it Beanstalk. Why not? You know, if it was actually this is my Beanstalk 1552, but I'll just call it Beanstalk. And I'm going to pick the uh, channel Make to Learn YouTube's Public Aura. So you can keep it private, nobody can ever see it, and you can make it public. So I've made it public. Now I'm going to submit it. Now it says, Your aura looks great. It looks a little fuzzy to me. I hope it works. Uh, it says to share. I could share, but we're not going to do that right now. Uh, it says it's now available, so I'm going to say done. Now, I'm going to put up the flashcard. I'm going to put it down over here so you're going you're gonna to see me looking away for a bit here. I'm going to put down the flashcard, and I'm going to press the blue button on the bottom of the phone, and it's going to be looking. Oh, There's a beanstalk. The beanstalk will grow every time you point at it. And now you've got an aura. So your job is to come up with a target. So that's what you need. You need a target. And you need an overlay. Example, if you're doing curriculum on uh, animals and something dealing with uh, elephants, then you will have a target image. Set it up so it's readable. And then a, an overlay that will appear when that um, elephant is looked at okay, through the app. Not, she changed her mind. And these uh, videos I've gotten through Google looking for um, copyright free, uh, free to share and free to use. Uh, for okay, today, we're going to be going online. I'm going to be showing you how I created uh, this Orasma using the design thinking logo that we used in the breakout EDU. Remember that? That seems like a very long time ago. And this short video, well, for just a little over four minutes. Hi there. Have you noticed that the world is full of problems? But we're not going to look at it. Hi now. there. Have you noticed? Hopefully you will get a chance to look at it before the next session if you haven't seen it because it's a great little video I got permission to use from Sean Van Genderen um, on what design thinking can be used for. That will be our overlay. So I've got those both ready on my computer so I can upload them when we get to um, the studio. So here I go over to studio. Just happen to have it set up. And this is uh, the login. I like the Erasma login better than the HP. If you go to HP, you're going to have to add a lot more information. So until they give up this Erasma entrance, I would use this studio entrance. Um, login to Erasma studio right here. And I've got my make to learn you two and I hopefully this password is going to work and sign in. There we go. And once again, you do have some commercial auras that are featured and available. And if you, um, you, you want to play with them, you can. But let's go right to making our own. Now you can see that um, it's a starter subscription over here on the left hand corner, make to learn. But I'm going to the upper right hand corner, create new aura. There we go. Click to upload trigger image. Okay, I told you that I had one picked. I click on browse and I'm going to go to my folder that has that in it, which is this and March 9th and it's called target. And here it comes and I say, I'm gonna give it target studio design thinking to name, save it. And because it's not that large, there it is. It's my target, it's up. Um, on the web in this aura. So now I need to go to next because obviously I have to pick my overlay. So click to upload overlay. Click. I'm going to again browse and I'm going to pick, I, I labeled it overlay and it, it, it's 24 megabytes. There's a maximum size. I think it's 100. And I will say save. So now it's uploading that. You can see that little purple line buzzing, zipping, fast load. And once it gets loaded, I now have two items. I have my trigger and I have my overlay. And it's saving them. And uh, once it has saved them, I can position the overlay in the correct 
location above the trigger. Okay, updated overlay. There it is. Uh, now, look, the overlay is saying, okay, do I want it to really play in the middle? It's possible. It depends on uh, what your object is. I want people to see the overlay. I want it to be big. I want it to pretty much replace the... Okay, it's best if I had kept the, the scale, but let's see. I think that's about right. There we go. So click to upload overlay. Click to it now. Overlay one. There are other things we can do, but today we're just looking at arranging the overlay. And now I'm going to say next. Okay, let's give it a name. Design thinking. Make to learn. I could do hashtags right now. I'm just going to um, save it. Aura has been saved successfully and preview it. So there it is. I take my phone and you'll notice in your app, look what's been added to it. The design thinking target is listed as an aura because you use the same account. Um, now if I did it in reverse and made it here on my app, it would not appear in my studio. But what you make in your studio will appear in your app. So it's a one-way situation unless you share it the other way. So let's click on the blue button and line up the target and hi there voila. have you noticed that the world is full of problems there are big hairy problems and like poverty and disease so there you have uh, creating an aura in two different places the app and online um, you can do other things in here you after you've created your aura you can search other auras and you can actually click on them and launch it and it should be accessible from your app now. Um, you can also, and this is, you're going to be getting a couple of emails, <laughs> and uh, if you go into your um, account, you have share campaign, and this is a way to share the Aura um, with other people. So <clears throat> for you to become a member of the Making to Learn uh, campaign is what they call it now, um, you'll get an email so that when you um, click on it, your account will then be able to access any of the um, auras that are created in our campaign, our Making to Learn campaign. So uh, let's just wrap it up with what I hope that you'll do before now and uh, when you come next week. And that is uh, we're going to... You're going to download the HP Reveal app, create an account, uh, view an aura on the app. You can also, you know, use the one dollar and twenty dollar bill images to see what happens. Log into the studio and make sure that you can get into it using the same email and password. And search for design thinking, and you should be able to find that overlay and make it a part of your that aura and make it a part of your account. Um, select one or more target images and uh, possible overlays related to your chosen curriculum area for next week. Yeah.